What's up guys, Chigs here from Chigs Tech Reviews. So if you're after value for money, then the Oppo Find X2 Neo might be exactly what you're looking for. Now you can pre-order this right now at Carphone Warehouse for only $599 and that gets you a completely free of charge Banghalfen A1 Bluetooth speaker which is worth £150 itself. First of all inside the box you will find a cardboard insert with the Oppo logo and inside that you will find your user manuals, SIM eject tool and a clear silicon case. So next up the smartphone itself and as I take this device out of the box I just can't help but notice how slim and light the phone actually is. So let me just place it on the side first of all and see what we find next. A USB type C cable, a 49 watt VOC flash charger version 4.0, a pair of USB type C headphones. And now it's time to unveil the Oppo Find X2 Neo, a new mid range device priced at $599, packing more than modest specifications. So under the hood you get the Snapdragon 765G with 12 gigs of LPDDR4 RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage supporting UFS 2.1. Furthermore, you are looking at a 6.5 inch AMOLED display with a silky smooth 90 Hz refresh rate that's a full HD plus resolution of 1080 by 2400 with 402 pixels per inch and you do have Gorilla Glass 5 protection. Now the screen looks bright and clear, games and movies look stunning and to further enhance your experience you have that beautifully smooth 90Hz refresh rate along with a peak brightness of up to 1100 nits and a 5 million to 1 maximum contrast which means you can equally enjoy your gaming both indoors or outdoors with super smooth visuals. Now the Oppo Find X2 Neo is made from a metal frame with all glass design. It's protected by Gorilla Glass 5, scratch resistant and features a dual curved design with a streamlined look and feel to it. Now this colour is called Starry Blue but you can also pick this up in Midnight Black. But I have to say I'm actually liking this colour with that two-tone visual effect. Also I'm quite surprised to how thin and light this smartphone is coming in at only 171 grams and 7.7 millimetres thin. Quite impressive for a large 6.5 inch smartphone. So very comfortable in the hands with a very premium design and feel. Now at the bottom of the smartphone you will find a single speaker, USB Type-C port, microphone and a SIM card tray. And on the side we have our volume rocker. And at the top of the smartphone we have antenna lines and microphone. And on this side we have our power button. Furthermore you have a 4025 mAh battery supported by 49 watts of VOC flash charge version 4.0. So 20 minutes of VOC charging equals 50% of battery life. Now this phone does not support wireless charging, but VOC flash charging definitely makes up for it. Now the Find X2 Neo supports only NSA 5G networks. The Snapdragon 765G has an integrated 5G chip and it is a powerful 7 nanometer processor which offers a big performance boost from the previous Snapdragon 730G model and offering a performance boost of up to 200%. Now this smartphone is quite capable, plenty of power to play any game from the Play Store including PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile, Fortnite along with binge watching all your favourite shows and movies and to keep the phone running cool you have a multi-layer liquid cooling system so heat will be dispersed from the front and the back of the unit. Now of what the speakers sound like. Now the fingerprint sensor is located in screen. I believe it's the thinnest fingerprint sensor available and also it's very fast and accurate at unlocking the smartphone. Face unlock also works extremely well, very fast and accurate every single time. And every time you activate the face lock, I like how a ring of light appears around the camera. That's a very nice touch. Now let's talk about the cameras. On the back we have a quad camera setup, 48 megapixel main, 13 megapixel telephoto, 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel mono lens. 
Now the 48 megapixel main sensor is the Sony IMEX 586, which is the same sensor we have seen in the recent Oppo Find X2 Lite, Realme X50 Pro and the OnePlus 8. So off the bat, I already know it's going to take great photos. Now you can also shoot 4K at 30 frames per second with optical image stabilization. Now 4K video looks pretty good and very stabilized, but the glare from the sun causes a reflection to appear and makes that part of the recording look like it's behind a window. And whilst recording 4K, you do have the options to zoom in two times optical or five times hybrid optical. And on the front, we have a 32 megapixel hole punch camera, and it's capable of shooting 1080p at 60 frames per second with video bokeh effects. So one of my favorite modes has to be the video bokeh mode, which we're shooting right now, 1080p at 30 frames per second. And it completely bokehs out the background, blurs it out, and you can see the edge detection, everything is really spot on. So yeah, I'm really liking this feature. It actually works well. And not only can you do it with the front facing camera, you can actually do the same with a rear facing camera. And some of the main highlights of this camera setup are 20 times digital zoom, five times hybrid optical zoom, AI noise reduction, optical image stabilization and electronic image stabilization. You have ultra steady video 2.0 mode, which supports 1080p at 60 frames per second. And also a quick microphone test. Beautiful day today, hardly any wind, so we're not expecting any wind noise, clear skies, and this is ultra steady mode. Now you also have ultra steady pro, which gives you that ultra steadiness with the ultra wide lens. So again, 1080p at 60 frames per second. And quick look at the camera menus, you have night mode, video, photo, portrait mode and more and under more you can see Google Lens, Slow Mo, Sticker, Time Lapse, Expert and Pano. And I was also quite pleased to see an ultra wide macro mode. So quite a pleasing overall camera experience with lots of tweaks and options to play with. So good job Oppo with the camera. Now the OS looks pretty good. The smartphone is running Android version 10 with Color OS 7 on top. Now the OS feels quite snappy in operation and the Snapdragon 765G combined with the 90Hz display together ensures silky smooth powerful performance no matter what you're doing on it. Now every time you load up a game it automatically loads up game space in the background and you can access the game space overlay by swiping in from either corner and game space basically gives you some gaming options such as taking screenshots, screen recording, FPS counter, CPU and GPU load amongst some other options including a boost mode for a better performance in gaming. So there you have it guys that was my hands-on with the Oppo Find X2 Neo. And my experience so far with this device has been quite good. The phone is a joy to work on. I'm absolutely loving the 90Hz display combined with a pretty decent battery life. I was able to achieve a full day battery with heavy usage playing many hours of games like PUBG Mobile and Call of Duty Mobile and I was able to achieve around six to seven hours of on-screen time. Now the 49 watt VOC flash charge gets me from zero to 100 in just 60 minutes. And whilst playing games, I enjoyed the game space features, especially how you can screen record and switch on the front camera at the same time, which is great if you're thinking of starting a gaming channel. Now let's jump straight to the DRMs and benchmarks. So we do have Google Widevine level one, Internal disk speeds were pretty fast. We are talking about 802 megabytes per second read and 405 megabytes per second write. Now Geekbench multi-score was 1774 and the latest version of Antu 2 achieved 333K. So let's see how this compares with the others. So here is my top performing smartphone chart of 2020. And as you can see, the Oppo Find X2 Neo has achieved position 33 on this chart with a benchmark score of 333K. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So the question is, should you buy this smartphone? So Oppo Find X2's main selling points is that beautiful 90 Hertz AMOLED display, 5G, super fast VOC charging, 
great cameras for both video and photos and superb design and build which is very slim and light for a big screen smartphone. Now it would have been a next level smartphone had they put in the Snapdragon 865. Don't get me wrong, Snapdragon 765 is very capable chip and performs nearly as good as the Snapdragon 855. Now the Snapdragon 765G is actually a flagship 7 nanometer processor inside a mid-range priced smartphone. Everything I ran on this phone was run at full speed and I was playing Call of Duty Mobile silky smooth at 90Hz, 1080p at 60fps. Now battery life also does not disappoint and the insanely fast VOC charging eliminates any battery worries. Now a few things to mention, this smartphone does not support wireless charging, there is no IP rating and there is no micro SD card slot. If you can live without those missing features, and I think most of us can, then this is a fine mid-range offering by Oppo. Now do let me know what you guys think of this smartphone and also if you had a chance to win one of these, what is the first thing you would do on it? Let me know in the comments. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.